Good morning everybody, Mike at TTK. I wasn't going to do a video this morning, but I decided uh, it might be in the best interest of kind of doing somewhat of a training advice video. This snow blower here is what we classify as a two-stage. It has your main auger and then back in there, I know it's hard to see, you have a propeller. Uh, so that classifies it as a two-stage. This one over here is a single stage. All it has, I'll tip it up here for you and let you see is just the paddles. Now those paddles are driven by a belt underneath this cover. Now 90% of the time the pulley on here is plastic. This, these are not designed for wet heavy snow. Typically if a customer brings these in after a wet heavy snow because the propeller isn't rotating, it's because they burned the belt up and probably damaged the pulley in here as well. So don't use a single stage snow blower or electric snow blowers in what heavy snow. Uh, it may work temporarily, but it's hard, it's hard on them and it will cause damage. Uh, just to give you an idea, now this section here, I was able to move with my two-stage snow blower, but once I got out into the driveway, and I didn't even finish it, it's just too wet and heavy to blow the snow. All it's doing is pushing it. So it's kind of in vain to even be running the unit. Fortunately, I was able to get my cement pad and an opening here for UPS to drop off parts and stuff, but Stay out of the wet heavy snow with a single stage snow blowers because uh, you will damage them. Maybe not today, but if you do it one too many times, it will catch up to you. Again, that's a single stage snow blower made by Toro. That's a two stage snow blower. And that's what I used to move my snow this morning. I didn't even attempt to start that one. Of course, I can't. That needs carburetor work. But anyway, if you have any questions or concerns, give me a call at 731-298-1702. It's winter time, and all your snow blowers, whether they be a four-stroke or a two-stroke engine, where you have to mix oil and gas, use sea foam. Uh, this is going to reduce the amount of moisture getting into the fuel system. Will also keep fuel lines from freezing up, etc. Uh, so sea foam. But anyway, uh, that's basically all I wanted to touch base with you on today. Because I don't want to see anybody getting in trouble and having to spend money unnecessarily because they're not aware that that single stage snow blower is not designed to move what heavy snow. Uh, a single stage snow blower is a light duty snow blower designed for light duty work. And uh, if you use it for what it's not intended for, you're going to be taking it into a repair facility and having somebody repair it for you. Uh, not a whole lot going on. I'm hoping my parts will be here for the mower today. Again, i got to get the carb off that single stage and do some carburetor work on that. Uh, just a reminder, we do work on chainsaws. We do sharpen chainsaw chains. You can see the three uh, sharpeners that I have here. And we do all kinds of other things. Anybody that's in construction, I do have a nice running portable DeWatt air compressor. I'm asking 150 or best offer for that. It does run well, it does hold air pressure, uh, and it's in pretty good shape for the most part. Uh, so you shouldn't have any issues with it. So that is available. But if you have any questions or concerns, again, uh, visit our Facebook page. We've got a lot of videos out there with some helpful tips, just like this one. And uh, speaking of which, pressure washers. Make sure that as you get ready to store those, that you use some type of a pressure washer pump protector in it and or some type of antifreeze, especially the uh, horizontal pumps because water still lays in, the, in those. This will prevent freeze up, uh, will uh, slow down the process of corrosion that builds up inside the pumps as a result of water laying in there. 
as I told you in my previous video disconnect the hose from your wand and from the pump and drain the water out of both the wand and that hose uh, so that those don't freeze up over the winter time again you're putting your uh, pressure washers and your lawnmowers away for the winter sea foam add an extra ounce or two to the gas tank a full tank of gas run that for a few minutes so it can circulate into the carburetor uh, 98 percent of the time when you get it out the following year she's going to fire right up very few people have problems using sea foam so that's our recommendations for today again one last thing you have units that don't start do not use starting fluid uh, you can run into issues of having creating serious engine problems if you are having starting issues use carb cleaner uh, but do not use starting fluid or carb cleaner on any two-stage engine two cycle engine excuse me an engine that you have to mix oil and gas together uh, because you'll wash the oils off the cylinder walls and risk the da risk damaging the, the cylinder wall and piston inside your unit so anything that is two cycle whether it be the snow blower uh, you can barely see my chainsaw underneath there behind that still but do not use starting fluids or any type of starting chemicals to start those units with because uh, there's a very high risk that you'll damage the units anyway uh, that's what we've got going this morning again if you have any repairs just give me a call first just don't stop out because I may be I may not be here may be out chasing after parts etc and we want to make sure we get you all taken care of so be careful out there driving uh, roads are going to be slick hazardous and dangerous and uh, most of you got families to get home to etc and the people that you're confronting on the roadways also have families so let's take it easy out there uh, respect the weather that's the bottom line respect the vehicle that you're driving just because you got an all-wheel drive doesn't mean you can go four-wheeling with it and climbing mountains and everything else uh, they weren't designed for that so just take it easy out there slow down a tad bit You'll get to go where you're needing to be in sufficient amount of time. And if you run a little late, oh well, life goes on. We're, we're in too big of a hurry these days and we all need to slow down just a tad bit. But anyway, we've got more snow coming in. Um, so everybody just, again, I do a variety of different repairs. I don't have pictures of everything that I do. If you're not sure what I do or don't do, just give me a call at 731 298-1702 remember don't use that uh, single stage snow blower in this wet heavy snow you'll damage it and it's going to cost you money to get it repaired everybody take care god bless have a great day bye bye